You see, what most people don't realize is we've been scammed. If you are someone who's ever had any issues with debt, if you're someone who has an intention to pay off all of your debt before you die, and also if you're someone who said to yourself, you know what, I'm fed up of robbing Peter to pay Paul and Philip and anyone else whose name begins with P, then this is a video that's going to literally help you, all right? Now, one of the big issues people have with debt is the fact that they don't understand it, all right? So when I say they don't understand it, what do I mean? Now, debt is a mechanism. It's actually a tool that can be used for multiple different reasons. And the big reason why most people don't understand debt is because they don't actually understand money. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna share with you guys how money works and then straight after I share with you how money works, I'm then gonna share with you how debt can be used so you don't end up having big debt and as a result, having big sweat, right? So you guys know what I mean when I'm saying big debt, big sweat now, right? Cool, so the first thing is, there are only three things you can do with money. And most people don't know this and most people don't realize this. The first thing you can do with money is you can invest it, okay? And investing is effectively when you put something in with the hope and the desire to get a lot more out. The second thing you can do with money is you can waste it. And most human beings waste their money. Wasting their money is utilizing money in things and endeavors that aren't gonna pay you back in any way, shape or form. Now, the third thing you can do with money is spend it. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, oh, but Samuel, there must be another one. I got taught in school that we can save money. And the interesting thing is, I'm gonna teach you how I first learned that there's only three things you can do with money before I even tell you the whole conundrum around saving money, right? So here's what I learned. I learned that time and money are very similar. They are not the same, but they have very much similarities. And this is why you hear people say, time is money, exactly. But time isn't money. Time is infinitely more valuable than money. However, they still do have similarities. Now, one of the similarities with time and money is that there's only three things you can do with time. Just like I've just shared with you, there's only three things you can do with money. So the three things you can do with time are the exact same things. You can invest your time with your beautiful wife, with your children, with your beautiful spouse, with your children. You can spend your time on things that are not gonna bring you back any real reasonable return. Or you could waste your time like many people do on the 40, 40, 40 plan. Now, I can see some of your faces are puzzled. So if you're wondering what the 40, 40, 40 plan is, I might break that down for you guys in a minute. So the key is there's three things you can do with time and they're the same three things you can do with money. So here's the conundrum. Like I mentioned before, well, what's this whole thing about saving money? Because in school I learned you can save money. And here's my question to you. When you save money, where do you usually save money? In a? Awesome, in a bank. And when you save money in a bank, if saving is something that actually makes sense, what does the bank do with your money? Do they save money in another bank? 100%, you guys have got it right. They don't save money in a bank, why? Because you can't save money. Saving money is literally a construct that was created in order to keep us trapped. So we believe we're saving money by parking the money inside of a bank, but what the bank actually does is they don't waste your money, they definitely don't spend your money, but they go and invest your money. And by virtue of them investing your money, making 8% in some instances, like with credit cards, 28, 29, 30%, they then give you 0.01% in interest. So if inflation, which is the speed at which we actually have our money reducing its value is at 3% a year. And if a bank is only giving us less than 1% a year out of invest, spend and waste, what are we actually doing when we place our money in the bank? 100% you guys have got it. We're wasting our money. And this is what most people are doing because we've been educated in school to do it. And one of the things you guys have probably heard me say before is you shouldn't use school tactics to achieve non-school objectives. So non-school objectives such as becoming financially free, non-school objectives, for example, investing more, living on your own terms. These are not things they teach you in school. So please don't think that the rules of school will equip you for them. So with that being said, if there's only three things you can do with money, I don't want to have big debts and have big sweat. What do I do to actually circumvent that? And I actually learned this in a very weird way, but I'm going to share it with you. I learned it whilst playing a game. The game I was playing was Robert Kiyosaki's game, Cashflow 101. And at the time I was playing this game, I'd already invested in property. I was already generating X amount of revenue. But one day I was playing this game with my children and I literally had a financial light bulb go off. 
And that financial light bulb came when I started to realize how much money I had in the game, in debt, in certain things. So I'm gonna break down two scenarios for you guys to help every single one of you exponentially once you understand this. Scenario number one, let's call that person one. Generally, most normal people, their largest debt is actually their house. We're gonna call it their home. So you understand it's their residential house. Does this make sense? And the average property price in the UK right now is 230,000 pounds. So we're gonna assume that they own a house which is 230,000 pounds. Now, if they bought that traditionally, they would have had a 10% deposit, roughly 23,000 pounds, and they would owe in or around 180, 190,000 pounds in mortgage. So we're gonna be nice and say this person owes 175,000 pounds in debt. That's their largest debt, right? Now, here's a question I have for you guys. How much money does your residential home make you each day? Zero. Each week? Each month? Each year? Each decade? You see, what most people don't realize is we've been scammed. We've been scammed into believing that our residential house is the best asset we'll ever have. Well, it is the best asset you'll ever have if you never ever have another asset. But if you have any other asset, your residential home is no longer your best ever asset. Why? Because a great asset is something, it's an investment like I defined earlier, which you put money in in order to get more money out. A home, a residential home only generates you revenue when you sell that home and tap into the equity or when you no longer live in that home and tap into the cash flow. Am I making sense? So let's go deeper. So most people, their largest actual debt is their home, their residential home. Let's go a little bit further. Then you have stuff like student loans, and let's say you got a student loan of 13,000 pounds, and then they might have some credit cards, and let's say they've got credit card debt of around 8,000 pounds, and then they might have some other ancillary things. But for the sake of this video, keeping it simple, we're just gonna have these three main things. Everyone happy with this? Here's the thing that's beautiful about these three main things. Most people in the UK, most people in Australia, most people in Australasia, most people in America, most people in Canada, most people in most of these first world countries will have a stack of debts similar to this. That's why they have big debt, big sweat. The light bulb I had playing that game was the simple fact that I had invested multiple, 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 multiple times in debts that didn't create me money. Now, let me ask you this question. What would happen if you turn this scenario around? What would happen if you did have 175,000 pounds as your largest debt that you owed, but you owed 175,000 pounds for an asset? which pays you back 10% per year. Do you see how every single thing in this scenario changes now? Because if you had invested 175,000 pounds in an asset or set of assets, which would create for you a 10% per year return, you'd now be generating 17,500 pounds per year give or take 1,500 pounds per month. Now, the interesting thing is when you look at that as an amount, you probably only need to do that twice in order for you to replace the average income in the UK. Now, why is this so interesting and why is it so important? This is why it's so interesting. It's so interesting because most people will buy a house and think they've made it and not realize that they've only increased their debts and have not made it. All right guys, so what I wanna do at the end of this video is literally share with you guys an opportunity for you guys to work with me and my beautiful wife on a program called Wealth Without Walls. Now I find that many people desire to have wealth, but they keep 
hitting themselves up against the wall. And what I want to do is remove all of those walls for you by helping you understand exactly how you can create wealth without all of the walls that you've been seeing previously. So the way we're gonna do that is literally by inviting you to join us on a seven week live program. And if you're one of the first 12 people, when this video comes out, you'll be able to have the opportunity to be a part of the Wealth Without Walls program. Now that program is gonna be an investment of 1,997 pounds once the program has been recorded live and for anyone else who wants to get involved with it. So if you're watching this YouTube video and it's past 24 hours from when this video has come out you can still hit the link down inside of the description and be a part and register to get onto that training program at the investment of 1997 pounds however if you're one of the first 12 people who get in contact with us whilst this video goes live in the first 24 hours what you can do is email me at info at impactproperties.co.uk Alternatively, you can literally direct message me in Instagram at Samuel I Can Win and just check out the links in the description in order to get in contact and just send us the message saying I'm in and me and my team will send you the details in order for you to register and get your place booked. Now I'm going to share a little blessing with you and that is if you're one of those first 12 families who are going to be with us on the seven week program live, your investment is only £997. So don't delay, don't waste time, take full advantage, join me on the Wealth Without Rules program and I look forward to seeing you at the top and not from the top. What would happen if you and I made a decision that we would only get into big debt for an asset? I submit to you that your whole life would change and you'd no longer be living in a situation with big debt and big sweat, but you'd be living with big assets which eliminate the road and it exponentially change your life from having any debt whatsoever. So with that being said, we're gonna wrap up this video. If you guys got value, feel free to let me know inside of the comments below. Side by side with that, why don't you go and watch another video on this channel which is gonna help you move further faster in your future.